Welcome to sports. Big, big weekend ahead in the sports world and a big week going on right now in basketball as well. We'll get to all of that as we go. Of course, we have Athlete of the Week coming up at 11 tonight as well, so join us for that. But we have to start with some very big and just outstanding news that we broke down last week and we wanted to go a little bit in depth with it when we talked about it last week and that's Colton Naylor of Oak Hill getting his 100th win as a wrestler at Oak Hill. An incredible achievement no matter what sport you play to be in high school and to get a hundred wins in that sport, especially a sport like wrestling, when you are the main person, yes, you have your teammates and your coaches, but it's you versus your opponents. It's one-on-one. -on -one. And Colin Naylor, who still has more season to go, by the way, so he's passing that 100 mark, has achieved 100 wins. Well, I got the chance to sit down and chat with him today to get a good idea of what this meant to him. So check out what me and senior photo or journalist Journalist Micah Leith did. You just this past week did an outstanding accomplishment. 100 wins as a wrestler here at Oak Hill. Just putting that in perspective, what does that mean to you? Uh, it's a big accomplishment. I have been here for four years, and even before that, I saw some of the Fayetteville wrestlers, and I haven't seen very many people reach that goal. I am pretty proud of myself. I mean, it's a big accomplishment in wrestling to reach 100 wins. In wrestling, it's a sport, it's different than it's, it's a team sport in terms of you have your coach, your teammates, but you're one-on-one, -on -one, kind of like tennis. So when you're out there by yourself, what, what kind of gives you the motivation to get to that 100th win that you've got to? Um, one of my biggest goals is to just kind of better myself. You know, I've had a lot of inspiration growing up watching people wrestle in middle school and high school and seeing them accomplish big things like place in state tournaments and win state tournaments and this and that, you know, it's just kind of been a dream to be up there, be one of the best that I can be. This is going to be a tough question because 100 wins is a lot and I'm sure it's very hard to pick out if there's one that's more meaningful or more important to you, but off the top of your head, can you think of one or two or three that you really sticks out? It's, that is a tough question. Um, maybe I'd have to say my placing matches at states you know like last year I got there it was pretty early in the day I wrestled and then so on and so forth and then at the end of that last day I won my state's placing match for fifth place last year and that was a pretty big accomplishment for me it was one of my better matches um, I've had a couple of matches where I've hit moves that I've never hit before and those are pretty big matches to me too because they show that I can do better than what I do in some of my matches Awesome, man. Placing at state, that's pressure's on. That's one of the biggest times you can do it. So I get why you picked that. Last one here for you, Colton. You talked about goals. Moving forward, any goals that you have from here on out? So one of my biggest goals that I'm working towards right now and have been working towards since my freshman year is winning states. You know, it's an accomplishment that's hard to get. And, you know, you see state places every year, but it's been a while since you've seen one from Oak Hill, state finishers at least. Like, we've had two in the total of all the years that Oak Hill Wrestling has been a thing. We've had Ryan Fell back in 2007, I believe, and then Christian Lively in 2020. And I want to be up there with them. I want to be the next poster to go on the wall of state finalist. Awesome. Colton Naylor, 100 wins as a wrestler here at Oak Hill and more to come. Colton, thank you. Congrats again to Colton Naylor. Now, if you want to watch Colton and Oak Hill and many more this weekend, starting tomorrow, you can. Over 30 teams from the West Virginia, Ohio, Tennessee, and more will be participating in the West Virginia Army National Guard duels. Summersville Arena and Conference Center is where you can check. Matches begin at noon on Friday, go all day Friday and Saturday, and Oak Hill is hosting the event. That does it for sports. We'll be back with your final forecast right after this.